Welcome back to Hand of Fate. I'm recording this episode right after recording the previous one, so I'm still riding my caffeine high. I was going to play some other stuff, but I'm so jittery and just full of caffeine that I don't really have the attention to do that. So I'm just going to keep playing this and just try to kill lots of stuff to appease my short attention span at the moment. So let's take on the King of Scales. The dagger, my final symbol. Can you take it from me? Even if you can, could you turn it against me? I, who know it's every mystery, I think not. Here we are at the gates of finality. You or I must die. You or I must die. Yeah, so this is more than just a game. I get the feeling that either at the end of this dungeon, or perhaps after I finish this dungeon, I think I maybe have to fight him. I wonder if he's a sort of bonus boss at the end, and I have to go through the dungeon just like I did previously, except he's the end boss. Or if it's something else, something special, maybe a one-off encounter. All who have sat at this table have searched for the spirits at one point or another. You rather less than most. It's time to continue the druid ritual. Win this and claim my token. You arrive back at the sacred stones as dusk falls. The robed druids are already waiting for you. Stand watch, warrior, while we complete our task. A storm rolls in as the now familiar chanting begins once more. A noise in the trees draws your attention, and you quickly find yourself in battle again. Well, now that I can actually counter attacks, this really should not be too bad. Let's go for the casters first. Admire a man who can turn an enemy's force against them. and then uh, counterattack, but I didn't have enough time. Oh! <laughs> 
Okay, I guess I'm just getting used to being able to counter counterattack again, because that should have been a very easy fight, and it was, but I took a lot of stupid damage. Just as you butcher the last lizard, more of them rise from the waters. The druids pay no heed to the danger. I can just leave the druids to their fate. It's like, see ya! <laughs> they're totally oblivious to what's happening, so they're just gonna get eaten by lizards. No. Let's help them out. You bravely approach the new threats, weapon held high, and wade into the skirmish. The Mother of Scales is a powerful adversary, Ooh. and should not be taken lightly. Yeah, this is gonna be tough. Especially with the default weapon. Oh shit. Alright, I need to take out uh, the casters and the thing. Shit, shit, fire! Fire! Ooh, that was close. Get my hair singed off. I'm just trying to get them away from the totem and away from the caster. Oh, shit. Alright, caster appears to be dead. Need to get the totem. I don't even know what the totem does, but I'm sure it's bad. I'm down. It's okay, this is only the beginning of the dungeon, so I'm not too worried about losing my life. Whew. Okay, just the big ones. How did that not kill me? Woo. Wait, what? I, <laughs> what even killed me? Dead at the final gate. Sad. So it goes. I have no idea what even killed me. You keep coming back. There is strength in that. Victory is impossible. Grind your moments to the final confrontation with care. What brings you to play the game? Ha, 
I know you will not tell me. Like all the rest, you are silent. Praying for a huge success. A choice. Select your desire. Well, that's uncommon. You stumble upon a long-lost tomb with treasure still inside. Ah! You loot the room. One weapon guard. <laughs> dear, oh dear. The rusty axe brings forth once more. I thought you were done with that. I thought I was too. It's almost as if some massive asshole just put it in my deck. What kind of a dick would do that? Really? Is that what you're going to do? That's all that was in the doom? A rusty axe. If you only knew what happens behind the closed doors. Demons. Apparently demons happen. A challenge for you, and a token if you succeed. Down a dark alleyway, in the slums of an ancient city, you find a door covered in strange markings. Knock knock. You knock on the door. A small creature opens it and looks up at you. The house demon sniffs and then says, Be gone, mortal. You have a taint of evil about you, but only the hellish lords and their truly accursed minions may enter this establishment. Oh. So I think I need a bunch of curses or something to be able to do that. I guess I'm too good. Too much of a saint. Nasty. Oh, yeah, that's the curse I have. Every, what is it, four steps I draw a pain card? Well, given how short this place is, I... How, how small this level is, I suppose I'll take it. I appreciate your ingenuity. I look forward to seeing how you approach this particular challenge. You can have the weapon and the shield and give me a blessing, thank you. Wait, wait, what? Okay, I guess I skipped it too fast. I didn't get a blessing, I got three gold? That is not even remotely worth it. Well, I'm screwed. Your food runs short. This does not bode well. I have not thought of my own mortality in an age or more. Now you force me face to face with it. Um... I'm pretty unlikely to survive. So I don't want to drag things on because I'm probably about to die, so let's just avoid them. Well, I mean, I could find food soon. I'm going to starve for a bit before doing that, though. Nah, I'm just going to avoid him. Actually, I might be able to buy one food. If I sell my crappy crown... A chance to buy more food. You must be relieved. Three food, even. I'm sure you're grateful for that. We're in business. Barely. <laughs> Great. Another curse on the table. Let us see how you deal with it. Every dying enemy has a 40% chance to drop a bomb. Hmm. That doesn't sound too bad. If anything, it could be beneficial. This one's usually pretty easy. Eh. Pain. Pain. 
How unpleasant. Well, I still got the weapon, so... That's something. Your most devastating melee strikes will gain you a small amount of health. Huh. Press left a bumper to drain health from surrounding enemies. That... That sounds really, really good. Although I'm not entirely sure what it means by your most devastating melee strikes will gain you a small amount of health. What, what does that mean? What counts as my most devastating? And does that mean it does that on top of being able to press left bumper to drain health? So it is like a drain sword in multiple ways? Particular, particularly strong attacks drain health, or at least gain me health, and I can drain it from enemies? I don't know, I'll have to try it out, but that sounds really good. Are you sure that's the right approach? Uh, hmm, are they gonna hate me? Oh, I didn't even read that, but apparently they gave me health or something. I guess they like me. Oh, wait. The maze of traps is here. Oh, crap, that means the way out is the complete opposite way. So, I'm praying for food here, otherwise I'm gonna starve a lot along the way. Can I drain health from traps? Okay, I might do this without taking any damage. It's looking good. Alright. Please have food, please have food, please have food. You know what, I just... I just realized, if you actually found food inside of an old treasure chest, would you really want to eat it? Probably years old. Unless it's like MREs or something. Blast of Freezing Ice, centered on the adventure, okay. Sounds mediocre. Eh. Food, please, food, please, food, please. That's not food. Steal the wealth of the dead. Hardly a noble approach. Okay, so this one can actually stun enemies, this shield. And I believe I have a blessing that makes it so... Uh, if I hit a stunned enemy, I do triple damage, I think. So this could be very powerful. Yeah. A shield bash can kill regular skeletons and stun other targets. Nice. Nice. Unfortunately, I am going to starve. Ow. Fasting Ow. does have a way of focusing the mind. Suppose I can sell my old shield and maybe buy Finally, three more food? an opportunity to eat. And there's the dog. Oh god, help me. Alright, sell my old axe. Is that my old shield? Buy as much food as possible. And then get the fuck out of here before I go crazy. Nothing more pleasing than the smell of salt water and the rush of wind, is there? An entire crew lost. Yet the captain is here to tell you his tale. Hmm. Curious, don't you think? 
Now, this went really badly before, but now I can counter and I have a very nice shield. Also, I can use my my artifact to freeze everybody around me, which is probably going to include everybody because we're going to be in a very small area on a boat. I think it's worth it. Let's do it. Oh, my shield actually says it can kill skeletons right, like, right outright. Oh shit, those are the- oh my god, I'm almost dead. The bombs! I forgot about the bombs! Oh my fucking god. I forgot about the bombs and lost all my health. Well, okay. I was looking pretty good. Dead. And with an artifact unused. Perhaps that might have saved you. It would have. Your weapon has powers, yet you haven't used them. And now you're dead. One more run. One more attempt. Hmm, Again, I... the great lizard will rebuff you. Go ahead and add in the new card. Uh, I think it was an encounter, right? Yeah, Desert Colt. What shall I toss? Old graveyard? Yeah, let's toss that. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Of course, I am different. My powers are genuine. Oh my god. That is beautiful. Do you see what just happened? So my blessing was the one where the... What was it called? The Wrath of the Old Gods or something like that? The one that will strike uh, mighty... Mighty uh, lightning down upon a random foe at the beginning of every battle? It hit the Lich, and it's an instant kill, so she is now dead. Beautiful. What the heck are they being reanimated? I don't know, I, I think the Lich had, like, a totem of skulls before, uh, when I fought her, like, in the, the Lich tomb or whatever. Maybe there was a totem there? I think I would have seen it, though. It's a pretty small area. Three equipment guards. The captain thanks you for your efforts. He shares with you some of the, shares with you some of the spoils of their adventures. That is very, very good. Fire relates to pure will in our system. In this case... However, only four uses. This has got to be really powerful. Caution, adventurer. This armor pulls energy from the world around you. Hmm. It's a light armor instead of medium. Is it worth it? I doubt it. I'm going to stick with medium. 
Assassination is such an unfair way to encourage people through death's doorway. So again, depending on how much gold I get for each encounter, this could be very good. Although killing the Lich has freed the crew of the Salty Dog, Davy Jones must always receive a soul. One day, that debt must be paid. There is nowhere safe to sleep, it would seem. Okay, I think the ghost wants me to lower my weapon. Because before I attacked, and the ghost seemed very... disturbed. So I'm gonna lower my weapon at this point. Uh, this time. The bandit looks at you with contempt. Thought so. He wanders out of the room, whistling tunelessly to himself. Two pain cards? Ow. Well, that's fine. I had no gold to begin with. That's not fine. Shaking your head, you warily turn back to your bed and find yourself once again in the presence of the ghost from the forest. Its eyes, so familiar, so real compared to its shifting body, smile into yours. Something stirs in your mind. A past memory? You are still yourself. I need fear no longer. Its pale hands reach for yours, and you suddenly recall a laugh. A laugh to go with those smiling eyes. I have lingered too long in this place. It drained so. Do not forget me. You blink and the ghost is gone. Those eyes, gone. Got the token this time. If you possessed more subtlety, perhaps you could heal such rifts. That's not the life you have lived, mind. Let's go see if we can go jack off the jack of dust. Our King of Dust again returns, with his companions by his side. Okay, sorry, not the Jack of Dust, the King of Dust. So we're gonna be jacking off somebody a little bit more royal. Nothing like a good royal jack- oh no! Got a whole freaking jack party here. A ring of dudes to jack off. Let's do it. Ooh, 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 ooh. the top one is huge success. And uh, it either went here or here. Damn it! Well, this is a new battle arena. Oh yeah, he um, helps his friends, he buffs them. Uh, I think I'm still going to go for the lackeys first, though. Not mean to go there.
shit. I re-dodged into, uh, in the way of the attack. got one of them. like a five minute fight. <laughs> There's the parking dog in the background. Choose a card to keep. Well, thankfully I can just ignore the rusty axe. Heavy armor, um, hmm. I'm curious how much the heavy armor actually affects my movement speed. Time Heals is really good, though. It's so freaking good. I mean, I know I have this Inferno thing, which is also probably pretty good, but this is really good. It basically gives you three times your current health. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Time Heals. It's just too damn good. As pleases you. Ow. <laughs> Charity. We play for a token now. I don't have enough food. I'm sorry. At their heart, all games are about power. Are they not? The acquiring of power, the retaining of power, and most importantly, the use of power. In the secret chamber, deep within a ruined temple on the side of a treacherous mountain, you discover the Wheel of the Gods. Will you spin the magical device and risk tearing the fabric of the universe? <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Well, when you put it like that, Yes, I think I will. Hey! I did not think you would achieve that. A ripple in reality emanates from the wheel. A strong wind blows. Your food is now equal to your health. What? 
Your food is now equal to your health. Uh, Charity? Can you hear me through the cave? I can give you food. Enough for like 20 lifetimes. You can't go back. Oh. Huh. Interesting. See, I want to move around as much as possible to get back all my health, but at the same time, the more I move, the more pain cards are going to be drawn. Now, if the pain cards just lower my health, that's not a big deal. If they lower my max health, that's a pretty big deal. And if they do something ridiculous, like remove 50% of my food, then I'm going to be pissed. But, uh, I guess I'll go back and forth a little bit for now. Well, <laughs> I sure don't need supplies. Hmm. More max health? It's either that or gold. I mean, really, none of them are bad. Well, I feel like most of the blessings are kind of useless, except for the one that allows you to redraw cards. Or, or not redraw, not, well, kind of. It allows you to uh, repick cards if you get them wrong. That one is extremely good. But other than that, they're all, for the most part, just kind of, eh. Let's go for longer life. Because I know I'm going to get some, uh, some subtractions from my max health. The pendulum can swing both ways. Yeah, my, my max health is going to go down again because of this, uh, this curse that I have. These places are rife with power. It is not chance that you should meet a warlock here. Let's do this again. Don't remember what you get for completing this, but let's do it. Well, that one just got smoke. Okay, so you get five gold per encounter because of the Assassin's Gloves, or Assassin's Greed, whatever it's called. So, that's, eh, it's okay. Definitely nothing incredibly impressive. Uh, it'll definitely add up, though. Hmm. Little hmm. pleases me more than watching your attempt to wriggle away from bad luck. Do you understand what it is we do now? Or did I rush you through the rules, pushing you into the play before you were prepared? This is a new map. Enjoy this thing, there we go. Ooh, look at 
look at the view over here. It's pretty. Do I want to do any of those? I do very much need a new weapon, but I'm pretty confident that there's plenty of time for that, so let's keep going. A voyage across the ocean, or maybe a trip down the river. Man, if only Think I could... about the way we play this game. You continue to die, yet we reset the board each time. One has to wonder how it is possible to truly lose. If I could sell my food, I would be very rich. Uh. Oh, here's my chance for a weapon. Let's go. I think I should remove that weapon from my deck because I really don't want it. Hmm. I mean, it does say a devastating attack, so maybe it does more damage on top of ignoring the opponent's blocking action. So maybe it's not entirely useless. We'll see. Please don't have a dog, please don't have a dog, please don't have a dog. Couple things I can buy. Well, I'm definitely not getting an artifact. During combat, press right bumper to move and attack faster for a short duration. That's pretty cool. Still not getting it, though. Whenever the player is healed, receive plus one health per blessing. That is pointless. Now that I really, really want. So is there anything I can sell? Actually, yeah. Okay, we can buy that. Let's do it. So, if we sell the axe, and sell the light armor that I don't want, and sell my current weapon that I don't want, might as well just sell this too. Well, no, let's hang on to it for now. It is possible I'll come across some really hard encounters that actually have me use up my time heals, in which case I would want to switch to this. Hello, Thunderstrike. What will you do with that? Kill enemies? It is a weapon. Now I'm gonna use the mace to hammer in nails, do some carpentry. Bargain with the devil and the devil returns for more. No surprises there. Back to a fiery pit. I'm again in need of 
spiritual fulfillment. Trade you another magical item for it? I can't even pay the two blessings. I don't have two blessings. Sorry. The demon does not look pleased. With a flick of his claw, you are thrown into a fiery pit. You wake in the morning and realize it was only a dream. Ah, a smith. And well met, too. I'm glad to see you have some respect for the creator of your tools and weaponry. And this is a new one. Again, a token is at stake. One day, on your travels, you come to Graven Vale's blacksmith. The blacksmith is unable to work. He must leave in search of his son, who disappeared while exploring nearby caves. Can you help me find him? I'd be very grateful. Since his mother died at the hands of a bandit, he's all I have left. Of course. Great. Let's go now. An hour later, the two of you reach the entrance to the caves. Peering into the darkness, you are filled with a sudden dread. Look, here are his footprints going in, the blacksmith says. He is about to run inside, but you hesitate. Your long years of traveling have given you an instinct for sensing trouble, and these caves reek of it. Reluctantly, you enter the caves. Slowly, you walk into the darkness. Strange sounds echo from within, bouncing off the rock walls and hinting at whatever monstrous horrors dwell in the depths. I think I can hear him. This way. The blacksmith charges into the darkness. You try to follow, but soon lose him in the darkness. You stand alone in the dark depths of the caves. Okay. I Choose have no idea. These options. No idea. Okay, could have been worse. In the dim light, you trip and fall. <laughs> Alright. Ooh. That's a bad one. You dust yourself off and continue your search. Here we go again. Come on. Come on. Could have been worse. I <laughs> trip and fall again. Oh, come on. Ouch. This is going to keep going on until I succeed, isn't it? Yeah, I need to find my way out of here. Okay, I'll dig it. After some time, you follow the smell of fresh air and find a way out. The sunshine is inviting but you have unfinished business. Okay, so if you fail, you trip and you take a pain card. If you succeed, you find your way out and you cho you can choose to leave, but it's only if you get a great success that you can actually actually find them and help them. We gotta help them, come on. Let's go back in. Oh! The cards turn against the soul in time. Okay, this is bad. But it's okay, I have, a, I have a weapon and... Oh, you know what, I also have the, uh... The Wrath of the Gods smite, so maybe it'll smite the golem or something. going on up here? Ooh, take this thing out. Oh my god, this place is huge. Is it uh, just a big loop? It is. Alright, cool.
Hello, I seem to have split them up. Okay, if I get hit one more time, I need to time heals. Alright, we're fine. So again, I can just wiggle back and forth if I want uh, more health. Because of all my food, but again, there is a chance of my max health being lowered because of my curse if I do that. Here we go again. Maybe I shouldn't have gone back in. Oh, Jesus. Damn it! Come on! No, we're going back in. Come on. God damn it! Oh dear. Maybe I should have used time heals back there, because now my starting health is really low. Alright, I can I can take these mages out, no problem. Alright, we're fine. Seriously, I deserve, like, a purple heart for staying in these damn caves so long trying to save these people. Come on. Somebody needs to recognize my incredible valor, choice. My, my bravery. Select your desire. <sighs> oh, dear. Look, I'm either going to save these people or I'm going to die in the dark in these caves. One of the two is going to happen. That is not the one I wanted to be smoking. What? What is hurting me? Oh god, it's the poison. Even the golem's taking damage from the poison. Okay, come on! So one in four chance each time. Are you kidding me? Ha. Very low health, but the problem is my starting health was so low that using time heals is like pretty much pointless. Also, rather hilariously, it looks like, uh. Jesus Christ. 
It looks like those uh, shooting projectiles at me can't actually shoot off of their, their plane. They can't shoot down or up. Okay. You have fought so hard to fall so close to the end. Again you lose. I thought you would do better than this. I, th I feel pretty strongly that I deserve a token for staying down there so long. I am like a knight in, in shining armor. Except my armor is actually not shining, it's actually leather and it's kind of dirty and I'm a crazy barbarian dude, but... Look. You don't always look the part. I am a knight in shining armor, despite what I might look like. And <laughs> the curse of Davy Jones. That sounds really cool. Hmm. I can already imagine what that card does. Spirit walk, and it shows a sword like going through a hand. Maybe it makes you invincible for a certain amount of time. It seems kind of overpowered if that's the case, though, for eight uses. Maybe it's something different. You keep coming back. There is strength in that. Victory is impossible. Let's go ahead and add in the new stuff before we end the episode. So, one new encounter. I'll actually have to add one more. Hmm. I guess I can throw in treasure chest? Sure. Okay, so let's toss out the shield breaker, because I hate that weapon. Throw in spirit walk, because I'm curious. I think, yeah, we got a new ring, too. I feel like I have too many artifacts. Uh, let's toss one out. Let's toss out feathered ice. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return I'll take another crack at the King of Scales.